Welcome, fellow collectors, fellow fans, fellow Transformer fans, fans of my voice, fans of this channel. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome to another Transformers unboxing. Today we have Comic Universe Bludgeon from Transformers Legacy Evolution line. This is our last wave, Voyager. And of course he is a remold of Tarn. We knew that was gonna come, gonna happen. But it's still gonna be a pretty good looking figure, I think. Um, how do they have Comic Universe? List them as Comic Universe. I just noticed that while reading here. Um, I thought maybe he would be, I don't know, I don't know what he'd be. Um, G1 Pretender Universe, I don't know. But here he is. He, he, he looks more like IDW Tarn, to be honest with you. Yeah, Tarn, uh, Fledgen. And he's got his sword. So I figured I'd release this on uh, as close to Halloween as possible because he is our skeleton samurai. <laughs> uh, we have some product shots on. I We have some artwork here of him in uh, vehicle mode on the front. Uh, on the side, we have bot mode, back some product shots, legacy evolution artwork, QR code, and legal. So while I open this guy up, please hit that like button if you are so inclined, and uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so you don't miss out on any future unboxing videos. Uh, keep in mind, these are for uh, completest purposes. Make sure you're not missing any accessories, etc., etc. So subscribe, it'll help me out. Share this ch channel, share this video. Just copy and share it, I, I don't know. Help me out. <laughs> All right, let, let's open this guy up. There we go. And so, the box is empty. That's garbage. Instructions, this mold is awkward. <laughs> To transform. I'll be honest. Here's the accessories. Let's open them up first. See what's in them. Man, that's a lot of tape on us. And a lot of paper. Alright, so we have the two blasters. Same as what came with Tarn. That little thingamajig. And then a sword, because this bludgeon. Bludgeon needs a sword. Uh, so we can get rid of that. Here we have... He's already a good-looking figure already. Just look at that. Karn with a good-looking figure. This is a good-looking bot. And look at those beautiful... They nailed the color scheme on this. And it's interesting because they're combining the, the pretender aesthetic with it not being a, a pretender. There's no pretender shell. So, okay, that's all out now. And as he went flying, these fell off the back. I like how he fell into a sitting position. We should be able to just pop these guys right back in there. I don't think there's any difference between left and right. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. There we go. How I could tell is this fits into that groove right there. Those grooves. That pops in there nicely. So let's stand him up. And how Bludgeon's not known to have this ginormous gun on his arm. But he is known to have a sword. And that seems to be strictly from comics. Not from uh, the original toy. The original toy was a samurai skeleton with a goat. With a... I'm sorry, with a uh, gun. So, in order to hide these, we can just simply pop them on 
facing downward. Because his inner bot was a tank. So what we're doing is combining his robot mode, which was kind of generic to be honest with you, with his pretender shell. I get this. Um, in IDW, it didn't, the original run of IDW didn't go so well, and he was kind of a catatonic and gave him an interesting face. But uh, here he is. He's a little lanky for, for a legend, but I think that's with the shoulders makes him good and imposing. Profile wise, stands upright. He's got long legs. I wish these were symmetrical in uh, this mold, in this release of this mold, but they're not. It is what it is. But yeah, that's that's a good looking. Uh, it's, it, it's it's bludgeon I like it I like it a lot better than any previous version of bludgeon I've had and of course his hands are on a, the open hands with the uh, pin in them so we can open and close them that's pretty cool lots of posability here looks like he wants to moonwalk or something Yes, you can make him look like he's kind of dancing. Okay, so transformation. This is gonna be the uh, awkward bit because this mold is awkward for me to transform. It does that weird uh, split thing. And by split thing, I mean the front becomes the back. The, I, the middle becomes the front. It's weird. The middle becomes the front. Let's we'll start by transforming the treads. Even though I'm pretty sure this is what always gets me in trouble. Now these do switch sides like so. So these become the back. All right, we'll leave that go for now. Now what's gonna end up happening is these are gonna lay flat. This piece here comes off. You're gonna flip this behind like so. This chest also pops up. That's gonna, of course that pops out. This expands, that's why I'm getting confused. That expands. Let's pop this chest back in here. His head's going to recess back behind here. I'm going to knock that off again. The, this piece here. Oh, come on.
Uh, yeah. So, come on. There we go. The treads reverse. This piece here is not supposed to snap off at all. And when it goes up, it goes up like so. And that piece comes down, sits forward on here. It's eventually going to sit backward. These are going to come up behind. His legs are coming up behind. Uh, we can, at this point, put them together. There's pegs here. up here for now these are on a double joint so that piece can come up board that's gonna sit on top rather this needs to sit on top of that we're gonna undo this for now So that piece is still raised up. Lower the camera a little bit. Legs pop apart. So this is going to sit, this this turret is going to reverse. That's where I have, I'm, I'm, that's where I'm making a mistake. It's going to reverse. And then these are actually sitting on top of that. Like so. Hmm. Now it's wrong. <laughs> Can that go down? There we go. It recesses back like that. These pop into place. There are pins here and there. to make sure it's bent at the right joint. And that's gonna pop back in. So now we have it sitting flush like so. It's gonna be a very low flat tank. Now comes this piece. This opens up. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. This is the part that really bothers me. This is just fold over.
We will po actually, we're not even gonna pa pause. We're gonna look at the instructions. So as we see here, we're at this step here. Where this part just opens up. And that should just go over top of that. But it does not. Because I have it on the reverse side, don't I? Yep, see, that's supposed to peg into there. And that piece pegs where we had it before. That comes around, fits underneath there, and fits like that. Because, you know, there's no actual tread. And we can probably just rotate the, uh, the hand here so it goes down like so. Yes. Oh. Look at that piece on Tarn and on here. So yeah. Once more. It's very simple. Peg. Hole. Peg. Hole. like so. That green piece goes overward. We rotate the fist. We open up the tread. We fold the tread into there. And this piece underneath. Because once more, there is no actual tread. And I snap both those off while I was messing with this. Uh, this is on this side. This is on this side. This time around, we are pegging them into that side of the hole, not this side. So they face forward. We take this, pop it right on top. Like so, or... What we can do rotate that around this way. There's two pegs here. Two pegs there. That just pops into I saw it pretty low. Pop it right into there like so. And then we choose whichever side we want to have whichever turret, whichever gun. We can put them forward or put them back here. Put them back here because that looks better. And then the sword has a 5mm uh, peg there. And it looks like we can just pop that right here on the side. Voila. We could, of course, put it over here. Because why would you not want to have that on your treads? There's no wheels on him, so he just kind of glides. Uh, that's probably my biggest pet peeve with this mold, is there's no actual wheels. Um, I'm not expecting actual tread. Interesting looking tank. It's a good looking tank. It reminds me of the Beast Machines, uh, especially this color, the tank drones from the, the, the Beast Machines toy line. I could see this game retooled into one of those or, or repurposed as a, oh, what was her name? Oh, that's the case. It's going to drive me crazy. The, uh, 
the female bruiser in the second season of Beast Machines. I know, I know. Apparently, I'm like the only person who enjoyed that show. Uh, Hang-ups or issues here. We have some paint scraping already right here. That could be prob uh, part way for uh, my manhandling or just because it's clear plastic. Clear plastic always has issues. So transforming him is just in reverse. This is a pretty solid plastic, by the way. I don't think it's going to warp like previous versions. Unpegging the arms. It's actually pretty good engineering when all is said and done. How he looks so much like a robot with very little kibble. And is passable as a tank. And it's not much... It's, there's no faking it. Um, it's some clever engineering here. With the double jointed knee. I, I, I barely touched it. Uh, Tarn does the same thing for me. So we should just be able to pop that up. Bam. Rotate that around to this side. There we go. Rotate his fist. I know his chest is still out there. We can fold this up since we have these pieces in. Put that back up, fold that in half, pop that into his shoulder. And rotate his fist back around. And we'll take this, pop it back into place, where hopefully it will stay. clip better and then just rotate these up so that they sit in that recess in the proper recess yeah I do enjoy this mold and we can just rotate this around here So these point downward and giving bludgeon his sword back only thing is he's a bludgeon not a sword i don't know interesting naming but there he is there is bludgeon um if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already and at this point thanks for watching if you are still watching and have a wonderful day